don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ian. And I'm Mike. What did we do in the last project, Mike? Well, what we did was we took the journal kit, the MDF journal mm -hmm. kit, we put it all together yep. and we stitched in five signatures. We did. So what we're going to be doing in today's video. Today is one of a five part series. Today we're going to do the journal itself is called Nature. It takes you through all the seasons, spring, mm -hmm. summer, autumn and winter. Plus, and then the last signature is the Secret Garden. Ooh, that sounds good. So today we're going to do the cover, the inside, so we're decorating the outside and the inside, inside covers. covers. Right. Of course, we've got the lovely MDF to go with it, adornment. adornment. But there's also a very, very, and one more, very large <laughs> download available for this. Right, so you're just going to be decorating the first signature today, First signature you? today, which right. is spring. Okay. The journal's got five signatures in, and the idea is we do a different signature on each video for the next few weeks. It is, that's indeed. And each of these um, decoration kits, if you like, for each of the signatures will be available as a digi download. It will. Okay, so we'll show you what's in it in a second. So should we switch to overhead? If you like. Away we go then. Right, I first thing, I think, I think I've got my dog's teeth in today. <laughs> the first thing to do before we go through that lovely kit. Do you want to pass it over I will, here so it doesn't get go. dirty? That is to paint the adornments to go on the front. Okay. There's a certain stage that you have to do these in. Um, while they're drying, we can then be going through the kit, can we? We can. And it, so, and it also gives it, so we, I don't like to dry the paint too much with a heat gun. I think it's better to dry it on its own. Oh, natural. Oh, natural. So you, you actually get more of a vibrant colour if you allow it to dry naturally. You do. Than if you use the heat gun because the heat gun burns off some of the pigment. It, oh, does it? That's, that's true, is it? Well, and also if you're using a metallic. Yeah. It obviously burns the mica. Yeah. A little bit and it dulls it down a little bit. So it's always best to leave, if you can, to dry or natural. Okay, so the colour I'm using is Brass Monkey from Indigo Blue. It's a, the most lush. My favourite, favourite metallic colour from Indigo Blue. It's just so... The reason I've picked this is because it's going to go so well with the green. Because it's like a greeny gold, isn't it? It is. So I'll pop some into a... I use an old enamel plate. <laughs> it's clean, <laughs> believe it or not. That won't come off. Yeah, it was and at I, one time my best pie plate. And I don't use a brush. Okay. I use one of Timmy's... Circular blending foams, is that what they're called? An ink blending foam, yeah. And so it's much easier because if you use a brush. Whoops. Well, the paint is a little bit, you know, it, it's kind of thick, isn't it? Yeah. So let's get it loaded up. I get the feeling I should have put a penny on. I'm just going to get it loaded up first. <laughs> you didn't shake it first, did you? No, I didn't. Yeah. Be all right. It will. By using a spouncer as well, you're going to get a lovely texture, hammered yeah. texture. Um, yeah, I was going to say almost like a hammered finish, isn't it? Well, what's good about it is, do you have a something pointy? I can just hold it down with while I'm talking. Pointy, like a pointy, pokey, tool. pokey tool or something. That's lovely, thank you. And I don't get it all off my fingers. By using the spouncer, mm -hmm. you're going to get the effect. But also, when you spounce it. It doesn't go down the sides as much. I mean, look, you've only got oh, okay. a little bit, so you haven't got to worry about painting the sides because it's all nice and clean. Yeah, and you've not had to use a primer either, have you? No, no, not at all. Which is a good thing about MDF. Yes. Or LDF, rather. MDF. MDF, is it? Yeah, oh, yeah, it's this MDF. Is MDF. I get mixed up there. Yeah. Medite. Medite, this is MDF. Medite, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. So, two. I mean, look how quick that is. There we are. The dog's num num in behind me. He is, he's, he's happy now because he said hello to the postman. Oh, was he? Did he set Teddy out? He took uh, Polly Pelican to see him. Oh, did he? Yeah. Our postman has two whippets himself, so he knows how loopy they are. <laughs> Whenever he comes to the door, Mr. Bentley always brings me Teddy. There we go. Very nice. Just do those, let's move that out of the way. I just love the texture you get with this. Mm. Plenty of paint on there to just finish with. It's 
fairly quick and painless really isn't it and also with using the spouter you do get that lovely kind of stipple texture you do you don't get any brush marks in it and you don't have that danger of brushing once too many times and getting a line yeah one thing i don't like about painting anything with the brushes you get the lines mm. if you've seen my work before my steampunk machines and stuff that i build everything is spounced i don't like painting it i'll sometimes spray but you get that cast metal feel yes yeah, I mean, it's I mean, almost like a cast metal, isn't it? You've got that, look. Oh. And none of it's gone down the sides as, as such. You've just got a little bit. Oh, well, yeah, a little bit. That's fine. So, But, I mean, personal preference again, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. If you yeah. want to paint everything, then go ahead and paint You want everything. to waste your life. <laughs> no, no, it's not a question of that. It's, but don't forget, when, when you paint something, you're putting a coat in over the top. That's right. And when you try and glue it... All you're doing really is gluing the coat in. That's happened to me before. Yeah, and it's not the glue doesn't penetrate through the paint. No. So all you're doing is gluing the paint coat in to the to the whatever surface you're painting it onto. So it's not a stronger bond than if you leave it naturally. Because the MDF is porous, the glue will soak in. Right. And it will act as a kind of key. So there's another little tip. If Oops. you are gluing, you don't, it's better to not paint the underside that you're going to be gluing. They're going off straight. They're going off now. Yeah, it won't take long. So I'll just have a quick clean up. Mm -hmm. Wash. I'll wash my plate and yep. most importantly my sponge. Okay. And then we'll come back and we'll run through the kits and have a bit of a tidy. A bit of a tidy up and a bit of a wash up. Yeah, lovely. Back in a minute. It's just gone quiet in the studio and Bentley's decided to have a wash. <laughs> and why not? He's a clean boy. Okay. So this is the kit. So this is available for download. Mm -hmm. It is a 21 page PDF. Yeah. <laughs> with a lot on it. There is, yes. Um, there will be a clickable link in the description area below, so don't worry, you know, links have been provided. Okay, so we have, we'll start with the covers. Obviously, the cover we've already done is, has got the green down it. Mm -hmm. So for this, I've picked a green background for the spring because it's nice and refreshed. It's, it's lovely and uh, new and, um, what's the word? Lush. Oh, lovely. Lush. <laughs> so this is the first page. This is the cover. On the cover you've got a little band you can use if you want to just give it a little bit of a an edge, so, so to you speak. Can, you can use that just to overlap your spine piece. Can you I? can, but the covers themselves are bigger than the journal. So if you want, you could just use the whole of the, whole of the flowers. Right, or you could just knock it over. Yeah, if you're going to bind it like Mike has, we'll still be starting hours there and working that way. Excellent. So, I'll just put that to one side. So, just go on those covers. Will you be putting um, a different set of covers in with each of the week's kits? Yeah, every one of the week's kits will get a different cover. So, if, for instance, you're not very keen of daffodils and um, the yellow thing, what's it called? Tenasisus. No, 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 the yellow... Oh, is it a Forsythia? Forsythia. If you want summer flowers or you want something a bit more secret gardening, as we go through the weeks, you'll see you get a different cover with each. Right, so you can pick and choose before you actually decorate your cover yeah. what cover you want from one of the five weeks' kits. Yes, yes. Which is perfect, because I know a lot of our friends in the States are waiting for their cover to come on the first trench of orders they've been posted. Which have started to oh, yeah. go out now, yeah. So you'll have to wait a couple of weeks. So each week... There'll be a different set of downloads, so you can look, see which you prefer, and do the cover with that. Yeah, and one of the other things we've said as well is you might want to do a different a different signature each week, like we're doing. Yeah. But if there's one particular signature set that you prefer, yeah, there's nothing stopping you from creating an entire journal just using that one. Which is what set. Mike said last night, because there is so. I mean, look, so much. Honestly, stuff. there's that much in there. You could theoretically do an entire journal. Just with, with one each, download. With, yeah, with each of the kits. So literally, over the next five weeks, um, there will be enough stuff to be able to do... Five, five journals. Five journals, yeah. pretty much. And each one will have a different cover. Yeah. So so this one is obviously the spring. I'll just see if my paint has dried nearly. It, on this one, you've got the little things to go in the escutcheons. That's the label plate. Label plate. Oh, sorry, label plates, yeah. So that, that, that fits so beautifully. Even though that label plate was a bonus piece, yep. you have still take yep. that into consideration and put pieces in the kit that go with oh it. Oh yeah, we've got the property of this journal belongs to. 
The back cover is handmade by, so you've got, again, little floral piece to go on the little panel to go on the Lovely. back. Inside front and inside back covers. Mm -hmm. hello. hello. So they all match. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we come to the oh, all the lovely the bits. Oh, I'll, okay. But you carry on while I like Okay. Now. So we'll start off with the first sheet. The first sheet has got some pockets in it. These are straight pockets, so there's all different ones there. I've also picked up on a slight Easter theme as well. That's obviously Easter spring. I've got the spring bunnies. All different ones. All the circles on this kit mic mm -hmm. are all fitted to inch punch. So oh, I thought it's, it's a good idea to use a punch that most people have. Excellent stuff. So the, if you're not very good at cutting out, you can just... Yes. Yeah. So basically in the kit you have 20 pages, which I'll run through in a little while. 20 pages. 20 pages, 10 cards, 5 tags, 12 randles, 6 corners, 3 tall journeying cards and 8 horizontal pockets. Wow. Plus the covers. So... <laughs> That's number one. I mean, these are the pockets, mm -hmm. oh, horizontal nice. pockets. They're so pretty. Mm. And then you've got the, the corner pockets. The, these cut-out circles, do they fit a punch as They well? do indeed. Right, okay. Yeah. Oh, well, when we get to punch those out. Ducks. The cute little ducks. <laughs> and the detail is lovely on these beautiful watercolours. Yeah, I love the bunnies. Bunnies! Bunnies! You know, you know my thoughts about bunnies. <laughs> so you've got the little tags. Just you can either print, you can either use these as they are, or fold, either use them as tags, I gluing them together, or use them as journaling cards. Yes. Because everything is printed on the back, but we'll come to that presently. <laughs> so you've got all the, I mean, they're, they're beautiful. Look at the little lambs in the basket. Oh. So sweet, aren't they? They are. And then they are, they pay, these are the pages. These fit onto the journal pages, the panels. So your journal itself, pages are bigger than these, so they sit in the middle. So it's yeah. a, a decorative element. Rather than doing the pages, mm -hmm. I've done panels, because panels are nice, because you can also use them as, as journaling cards as yes. well. Uh, and we've obviously sized them accordingly so that they fit on both the American 85 by 11 or the Imperial 85 by 11 and the metric A4. They do. So one set will both fit both, both. so there's no fits. need for two different sets. One if for you're a cat lover. Putty cat. Putty cat. But these are so pretty. Some have lines on and some are plain. Mm -hmm. But these are all printed on the backs as well and I'll explain why later. There we go. Look at the tulips. They're beautiful. They are, they're lovely. Oh, the dog lovers. <laughs> Somebody left a comment on the last video saying they was hoping that perhaps Mr. Bentley would make an appearance at some point. But unfortunately, photographs don't really go with a kit, do they? No, no, not not at the, not at the moment. <laughs> I mean, they're so pretty. You've got all the detail. They're great, they're lovely. I love the fact that they're all kind of watercolory, pastel yeah. yeah. kind of colours. And but there, there's just so much in the kit. There's loads and loads and loads. So just run through what you're getting in, Mr. Bentley Barkin. So. Okay, so in the kit, so I've written it down. In the <laughs> kit, you get the four covers. Mm -hmm. You get the three labels that we discussed to go inside the little... Yeah, the, the handmade and made by yeah. labels. You get 20 pages, which are these. There we go, sorry, is that a shot there? Yep. Some with lines, some without. Yep. You get 10 journaling cards. Yep. You get five tags. Which yep. uh, you know which ones I mean. Yeah. Twelve roundels, mm -hmm. two inch roundels. Yeah. Six corners. Yeah. Hor the horizontal, the corner corners. Corner no, corners. Yeah, corner, corner pockets. Corner pockets. Yeah. You get three tall journaling cards. Mm -hmm. Eight horizontal pockets with the little cutouts in. Yeah. You also get you, you also get um, the sheet to print on the back. Right. So the ten on over. So the sheet on the back which is the grid paper, um, comes as a separate sheet in the DigiDownload. Yes. As a separate page in yes. the yes. DigiDownload. So what you do is you print all 20 pages out first, you turn them over, you then put them back in your printer and you run 
the common back over them. Right. So, you, but you don't have to put those on like the backs for the pockets, do you? If you don't want. No, to. you don't. But the reason I've done it, a, it's quicker, but b, you just. Excuse me while I find the right one. <laughs> okay, these are the pages for the book. Mm. But if you print on the back, cut them out, fold them in half, they're journaling cards. Yeah. So you can have tuck ins, use them as tuck ins. Multi use. Multi use. Multi use, really. By printing on the back, if you decide later, yeah, I want to do, use those as a journaling card, once you've cut them out, you can't get them back through your printer. No. So not a lot of ink. And you've got multiple uses of the, the pages. Yeah. It's up to you whether you want to put the back on or not. Oh, yeah. I mean, I like it because when, when you do the cards, you fold them in half, yeah. you've got something to write I mean, on. For example, if you want to use those as panels on a sheet to so stick down, but you want to turn this into a double-sided journaling card, you cut it out, fold it in half, and then glue it. Yeah. There's no need for you to print the back. No, there isn't. No, there but isn't. if you wanted to use it as a journaling card, where you actually folded it and wrote on the inside as well... Yeah. Which is what I do, you do because you get more use, but so it's it, up to you. Yeah, so you've got dual use for those pages as well. So this, this is why I was saying, you theoretically, you could do an entire journal with one. Oh, page. absolutely, absolutely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut these out. For you, it'll be seconds. For <laughs> me, it'll be about 20 minutes, half an hour. But what's good about these is if there's any circles, the punches will take the pain away. Mm. They're all straight lines, no fussy cutting. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Fantastic, which is absolutely uh, essential for people with dist dexterity problems. Have you got the dog's teeth in now? I think I have, yes. My coffee's running out, so it needs replenishing. And I'm going to have a drink of water, and we'll cut these out, and we'll be back in two shakes of a donkey's tail. And I think I need to play with Mr Bentley for five minutes, because he's feeling neglected. Ah. Oh. And action. It's the wrong one. I picked the wrong one up. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I'm on the last one now. I've punched everything out, cut everything out, and I've just got to distress this little disc with the, with the good old vintage photo, which is my utmost, utmost favourite. Other colours are available. Yeah. What did we do without vintage photo? I don't know. So, I've cut out all the roundels. I've cut out all the pockets. I've used on this one I've used a one and a half inch punch to punch them out. Okay. I've got the tape on the backs. I've done all my little journaling cards. Lovely. They look lovely when they're all done. As an ephemera set, they're absolutely beautiful, aren't Thank they? Thank you, I think so. The little journaling cards with it on the back. Uh -huh. I've also got the corner pockets done, taped up on the back. <laughs> Are they specific left and right? Or yes, can they, they be are. Used um, to be honest, I think you'd use them either way because the flower, flowers are pretty either, either way. Either. Yeah. yeah. Um, non direction specific. Non direction specific, yeah. And then there's a little tags to little, um, what would you call them, like handmade by and things. Just label tags. Label tags. Or label plates. I've also done all the book panels. I've even distressed the edges of those. I've put the self adhesive on the back for speed. Which you don't want to see me sticking stuff down. No, no. And there, the other. Oh, let me just reiterate all this is from the one download. I haven't, multi I haven't done it multiple times. I haven't printed two or three off. And then there's those. There's the covers as well. And then there's right. the little tags. So, just to reiterate and hammer it home. Okay. <laughs> there are, individually, we counted up 71 items. We did. Yeah, so the 71 individual items. There are 20 pages. Which are those. these. Yeah, 10 journaling cards. Which are those. These lovelies. Five tags. Which are these those lovelies. There. 12 round L's. Oh, I can't keep up. Is there a partridge mm. in the pear tree anywhere? Aha. Oh, pretty. Yes. Six corner pockets. Three of the tall journaling cards, that's the tall ones, that's one big one, two small ones. Small ones, yeah. Yeah, and you've got eight of the, um, what I call the, the finger pockets. Yeah, that's those. Yeah. Plus you've got your back as well. You've got yeah. four covers and your three little labels. Yeah, so there's a lot. There, there is. What I'm doing with the little tags is I want to use them 
to write in as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of ribbon through. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of cream ribbon. I think it's. Uh, what did you call these earlier? Little secret tags that you secret can put tags, things in, yeah. and then use the ribbon to kind of bind them together. I shut them there, like that. Pull them tight. Put them in the journal, and there's sort of a little bit of secret in there. Oh. So that's those. Or you could glue them down. You could glue them down if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. The choice is yours. Okay. So. Put all this lot to one side. So what are you going to do first? I'm going to do the the, the uh, signature first because then I can't work on the signature while the, the cover's wet, sticking the hinges etc. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, I understand. I understand. So don't think it doesn't matter which either way it goes, does it? They're both then exactly the same. Not really, but they are both the same. They're exactly the same. Yeah. Okay, so what I'll do first, I'm going to stick in my pages. The pages we have, I'm calling these pages, these are going to stick onto the signature. Yeah. The way I'm going to do it is, in each signature there are um, 20, 40 sides, aren't there? So yeah, 40 individual so, page sides. So we count that as a side, One, that as a side, two, and three, all the way yeah. through to 40 yeah. at the end. Yeah. I have... 20 of these yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna put one in miss one put one in miss one put one in miss one right okay because then we can then on the pages so does that mean you're going to put them on all the face inside um so when you open the book that's the face inside yeah that's the next face inside. I think so yeah right okay so we'll start with the notes one are you going to um, alternate between lined and unlined I am I am indeed so Fab. So that's one. You've actually also got space around the outside as well for oh, adding yeah. doodling and also note taking, yep, writing exactly. other stuff, or you could even. I want to make sure I haven't got the same pattern in twice after each other. <laughs> Oop, everything's falling over here. There we go. Lovely stuff. And of course, then we'll be putting the the corners, opposites, etc. But we can put them where we want. There is no right and no wrong with this. No. It's, it's you want I mean, to put if you wanted, together. you could print two sets and have it on every page. That would be a, a heck of a journal, wouldn't it? I'll tell you what, it'd make a lovely birthday present for someone. I don't want one. <laughs> it's lovely, but I don't want one. Thank you. Because <laughs> you've already got one. I've already got one. Just make sure I'm not using the same one again. No. They don't repeat, it's just some of the frames have the flowers that break in and some don't. Right. If you see what I mean. Some are similar. Yes, yeah, some are similar, but they're not none of them are the same. I have to tell you that none of them, there's no repeats. Unlike the TV. <laughs> yes, that's full of repeats. Tell me, Mike, have you put any more of these on your website? The any journal more the journal cover sets. Oh, yes. So the actual um, MD... see, I'm on the ball. <laughs> the actual MDF journal kits um, sold out on the first video on Saturday, um, and the, the, there was quite a lot that I put on. I thought oh, I'll put on quite a bit, um, and they all sold out. So now that they've started to go off, go out in the post, they started yesterday. Um, I've put more on. So if you missed out on the first batch of the journals, there are now more on the website. Oh, excellent. So get in there quick, so I'm not sure how long they're going to last. I apologise <laughs> for my fingers, I do not smoke, but when we went to the laser cutters last week, <laughs> we have to clean it between cuts, and it's all the chemical that comes off when it's cut. It's the, um, it's the resin from the MDF. Yes, it is. There we go. It does... Um, it has a particular smell all of its own, doesn't it? It does. See, these pages are lovely on their own now. Yeah. You wouldn't have to put anything else mm. else on there. Because you've used parchment paper, haven't you? Yeah. In in your journal, but you yes. could just use ordinary paper if you wanted to. Yes, you or could. Or you could tea dye, wrinkle. Oh, it's up to you. What? How you want to do it? Of course, it is. This is the whole point, isn't it? I mean, this is just what do they call it? A serving suggestion. Serving suggestion. Yeah. Contents um, may settle in transit. <laughs> You've missed one. Have I missed one? Oh, sorry. Oh, there you go. Um, yeah, so it, it's it's one of those things where, you know, we do it one way, you might do it a completely different way. But then again, you might do it again 
a different way again. A different way again, because there are so many different ways in which you can do it. Right, so then I work my way back through on that side, don't I? Well, I would have continued going on the facing. Well, it's it's not symmetrical. I'm sorry, I can't help it. I like it symmetrical. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what you mean by that, but... Well, so whatever's on that page, that whatever's on the page on... that side also appears on the back of the same page right okay. so i always do my i understand now so now you've got to the center of the signature you're going to reverse the order of the card yes right it makes it a little bit more interesting i think yeah it's all good still it is so it's bentley nice and quiet now bentley's in bed he's, uh, he's climbed back into bed it's all been a bit much yeah Well, we did have a play with Polly Pelican while uh, oh, did while, you you? Were, while you were cutting out. Oh, lovely! So he's had a run round. I'm at I'm at ten minutes with with Polly Pelican. Is that a similar one to that one? No, no, it's not. It's I mean, it's got similar flowers in it, but it is spring. Ah. I can't wait to get back into the garden again this year. Oh no! We've, we've had some really cold frosty mornings weather wise um, but once the sun's come up fully it's burnt the fog and the mist off and they've been really kind of bright or almost spring days it's been beautifully warm it has been nice but just with a, a bit of a bitter bite to the wind yes it has but it has been nice and bright in spring so i've been looking out the window oh. into the garden with longing to get yes. out there and start digging over and weeding and... The only people that are in the garden at the moment are the children. The children? Children. 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 Is that from Hocus Pocus? Children. Yes, I smell children. children. That's it was. Good old Beth. Yes. Can't wait to see the second one they're doing. And... One more there. Yeah. Of course, because we've swapped over. So yeah. you will have one left over. No. That one will go on. Oh, on the outside. Yeah, on the outside. Oh, right, okay. There we go. And of course, it makes that first signature then a bit more substantial as well. Yes, it does. It does. And there's plenty of room between the signatures in the, uh, in of the course, binding. There's plenty of expansion space. There is. So even if you make it and think, oh, well, I want to put some more in, you can do. Of course. Right, so that with is... With a two-inch spy, it's perfect. Well, that's the first pages in. You see, it's bulked up a little bit. <laughs> Just a tad. Just a tad. <laughs> so, okay, so now we'll put in... We'll skip between corners and pockets. So... I'll, I'll use the pokey tool, it's much easier. Would you be a loving just... Take the, take the corners off them. I was going to say, I'm going to sat here like a yeah. shilling dinner, yeah. as they say. Yeah, would you be so kind? Don't mind at all, but I'll have my fingernails, haven't I? Yes, he has. There's your so next one. Going, Are you alternating between I'm going from front, corner and squares? Yes. Well, that's another corner. So. Yeah, I've got squares at the back. There we go. Oh, you're flipping backwards and forwards? Yeah. Okay, so there's your first square. Then. So I'm going to miss one. I'm going to put a square That's on a there. Square one, then. Thank you. So, what do you want next? A corner. Another, another square, please. Another square. Like a quiz show, isn't it? It is. Do you want me to just mix them up? No. So that oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I thought you were mix the corners up and No, no, the... I meant just mix the order in which I give you them. To yes, give please. Them to That's you, fine. Just so that they're, they're randomised. Yeah. One, two. Miss that one. And then that one goes. We like doing things random this year. This year's the year of random. Yeah. Uh -huh. All the mission inspirations are random, including the mid-month minis. My well, life's pretty random. Right, let's have a look. Miss one again. In the corner. I'm, 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 I'm working, I'm working. You can't please, get the staff, ladies and gentlemen. Please stand by. Buffering. <laughs> 10 percent, 20 percent. Thank you. Make sure it's not the same as that one. No, that's fine. This is looking pretty as it is. 
this one. I mean, obviously, if you're, if you're, uh, um, let's just have a quick look at, just make sure. I've, yeah, after that one, so I've got that one in, this one, that. I can tell if you're right by just holding that back, mm. and you know you're in the correct place. Thank mm -hmm. you. What's I saying? I Mission inspiration, being random. No, we, we did that bit. I was going to say anyway, something else. Oh. I forgot what I was going to say. Now, but I was concentrating on not getting it wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, that's what I was going to say. Right, so this journal has got a little bit of distress to it, but not a lot. So it's a kind of nice and tidy journal, isn't it? But oh. if you're a if you're a grunge girl or boy, hang on, hang on, you're getting me confused now. We should, well, that should be a square one. Or it is a square one you're doing. You've given me a square one instead of a. I've been doing them. I've been doing them. You don't do them randomly. You do all one, one, two, one, two. But that's. Well, I've been doing corner. Oh, square, never mind. Corner square. The greatest, the biggest. In alternating. Yeah, never mind. Thank <laughs> you. So what do you want next, corner or square? You tell me. Well, my system has gone up. It's funny, aren't it? Really. Let's have a look. So, <laughs> let's just miss that one and put in. Corner on that. <laughs> Dogs woken up, everyone. Uh, could I have? Um, oh, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> My system's gone up the swanny. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, well, obviously it does. Well, it does to me, but that's <laughs> just my OCD, though. Um, I'll give you another square. Mr. Bentley should get out of bed and he should be right. Could I have a round, uh, an ordinary one as well, please? When you say ordinary. A uh, corner. <laughs> I like to put plenty of things in the middle. Yes, so as I was saying, so if you're a tidy crafter, you like tidy stuff, you don't have to distress. No, you don't. But if you are a, 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 a grunge boy or girl, then you can really go to town on these if you want to. You can so, put fibres in. Absolutely. So, square or corner? I'll have a square, please. People in the UK. I'll have people, Bob. <laughs> yeah. What was it called? Slot bus with Bob Holdness. So you've got one corner left and two squares. Right, so I think we'll have a corner, please. A corner. And just dot them about, I don't think it makes any difference. Well, like we said. Just to, just, to, just to populate the journal. We're doing random. We are. So you're going to be left with two squares then? Yeah, which I'll. And a huge pile of red liner tape back in. Oh, lovely deep joy. Because it sticks to everything because of the static. Right, so we've got the ones we're left with two of those. We've got two squares. Yep. So I'm just peeling the back off the last. Let's have a quick look through. Yeah, no, so this is a I think what I'm going to do. I'm gonna That's a purpley one. So I'm going to put. What's that one? That one's a white one. I'll have a white one then. Uh, put on the front of. Oh, hang on. I'm going to do that. Oh, <gasps> you devil. My you. devil. Beginning and end. Oh yeah, I'll oh, for an Omega. There's a church near Mike's that has two gates on it. Near Mum and Dad's? Yeah. Sorry, yes. And it's got the Alpha symbol on one gate and the Omega one on the other. In and out. In and out. One for weddings, <laughs> christenings, one for funerals. Like suits, really. So, that's filling up nice, look at that. Now this is the fun bit, this is the bit I like best. So, let's dot these about now, the little roundels. Do we have a little bit of glue? What could I right, use? What would you like? <sighs> Choices. Like spirit glue, so you've got a bit of wiggle room. Uh, yeah, go on then. Okay, there you go. So what's this one? This is the Collol Multipurpose Spirit Glue. So this is from um, Crafter's Companion here in the UK. I'm not sure where you get it from in the States, but I know Crafter's Companion is in the States now, so you should be able to get it. Okay. Oh, oh, like, it's all coming out everywhere. <laughs> Help! Your Honour. Help! There we go. On that. I'm going to use a. I'm going to use a print stick. Have you got a print stick? Right. If you look in one of those dry glue there, sticks. That's it. Dry glue. Use one of the Elmers. And I'll have to look for a tissue because you put glue everywhere. There you are. Now. There you go. Wet wipe coming over. Thank you. Sorry about this. Sorry, as long as you can go on my trousers, I don't care. There we are. I'm better off with this kind of glue. Children's glue. 
It's not children's glue. It says school, but it's extreme, that one. What? <laughs> extreme glue in? That's, that's what it says. Does it? It says on the, on the glue stick, if you look. Oh, yeah, it does. Elmer's yeah, extreme. Is he? <laughs> Who is Elmer? Poor Elmer. Oh, yeah. Elmer Fudd, is it? No. Oh, I know, that's the only reason why it couldn't be Elmer Fudd. <laughs> He was having problems, wasn't he, poor Elmer Fudd, with the... With the rabbit. The, the wab, Mr. Wabbit. It's a wabbit. There we are. <clears throat> That's looking really good. Even if I do say so myself. I'm not, no, not wishing to blow one's own trumpet. I'm not going to um, go mad with the glue. I don't think you need it. No, not really. So of course you can then write on there or draw on there. Hmm? Start from the other side then. Then whatever we're left with we can put draw, on. doodle, watercolour. Would you be able and just put some glue on some and just pass them yeah, to me? Yeah, and you need to give me a job to do. But let me get a... That job creation, isn't yes, it? Yes, let me get a little um, thingy mat. So I'm not putting it on the... The worktop. Okay. Just got a little we'll these polypropylene across. mat that I can use. Excellent. Just gluing on so I don't get it on the worktop. There you go then. Thank you. Right. Lovely. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. On this, some of these have got little lines on so you can actually write on them as well. Right. Notes or things. Things with a capital F. Things with a capital F, Mike, yes. We are. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that's nice because it's the same one as there. Oh, wow. Very nice. That's a happy quinky dink. It is a happy quinky dink. How many have we got left? It uh, looks like we've got three left. There we are. Let's see, there's this, Right, so bumping elbows here. Yeah, my workstation is not exactly huge. It's built for one, not for two. This is true. Okay, how many we got left? Just three. Three. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Just, you just get so excited and don't know where to put stuff. <laughs> there we are. One, two. Excuse the cracking sound, if you can hear. That's my joints. Is it your job? Yeah. Well, I thought it was the chair, actually. No, it's my joints. Not, not We're so. about due replacements on these chairs. We've had them for a long, long time. Thank you, Mike. <coughs> that's perfect. In fact, I bought these chairs when I first started YouTube videos. And that's a long time ago. It certainly is. I'm into my... Was it seven years this year? I think so, yeah. yeah. Let's get rid of all this rubbish out of the way. Put the away, then. Yeah, I started doing videos in 2015. Did you? Yeah, so... When did I start the Steampunk shows? 2015, start? same year. 2015, same year. There's the top few glove. Thank you. Okay, so we've now got all the bits in there. Look at that, it's filling up. There's plenty of room, though. Mm. So, we've got our tags. Which now can sit lovely in those pockets. And now, and now a little... Little... Journaling card. card. So we'll put one in there. That's beautiful. Hello, Bob. <laughs> in there. Mr. Ducks, quack quacks. Of course, as I said before, double sided, and on the back you've got all the little places to write. Yeah. So, so. Okay. You, you don't have to fill each page, do you? I mean, if you want oh, no. to put. Um, if you want to admit, send it to a memory book. Oh, yeah. A cat. <laughs> a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I'd like to say that was by design, but it wasn't. <laughs> that is so funny. And then we'll start from the back. I just like to have things a little bit mm. symmetrical. So, as I was saying, if you wanted Sorry. to make a memory book, I mean, you yeah. could stick photos in, couldn't you? Oh, and then yeah. journal underneath. Absolutely. Uh, or stick a photo in and then put one of the roundels on. Yeah. Just to tie it all together if you wanted to. Of course you could, yeah. Or you could even do it as a, a recipe book, couldn't you? Well, that'd be nice. You could write some recipes on. 
Well, the dog look out, look out as well. Let's have a look. Looking at the looking at the rabbits. <laughs> oh, I love That's it. Very cute. Okay, so we we we, we didn't actually but when we started doing this video today, we didn't really have a name for this set, did we? No, we didn't. But we do now. Yeah, we do. What's it called? Spring Wonders. Spring Wonders. So there'll be a link in the description area below for this digi download set and also for the um, for the actual MDF journal kit. I'm putting two in there because there's a right. If you yeah, missed a... the video of us putting um, the journal covers together and stitching in the signatures, then I'll put one of those iCardy things up in this uh -huh. corner there, so you can click on that now, um, or there'll be a clickable. Um, thumbnail in at the end of the video, you know where the oh yeah yeah there'll, there'll be one of those there on the um, for the last upload, so you can go back and watch that if you right, want. Right, so everything's in there now. Let's go to that. That is going. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that. It's nice and substantial. Isn't it, it is. There's plenty of room for get everything else in. Look, mm. I mean, that's just one. So you've got those. You're going to save those. They're going on the outer. Right. Okay. Okay. So we'll just run through the inner. So we've got the notes. That. Do a quick flick. Of course there's all the little tags. Places to write, places to draw. Cut more pockets out if you want, stick more pockets mm. in. Just tuck bits in. If you've got some little old seed packets, tuck them in. Tuck them in. Right, so what do we do? We tuck them we in. We tuck them in. <laughs> da, 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 da. He's saying. What no mice? What no mice, yeah. No mice today. As long as he stays away from the bunnies, I don't care. <laughs> That's a pretty spread, isn't it? With the mm. little roundels on it. Little bar lambs. Let's see, blank pages again. So you've, you've got loads and loads and loads of places. Oh, he's looking for the cat. <laughs> Other rabbits. Other rabbits. See? That's just one journal, that's just one, one signature. And that's just one to say again. It's kind of it, 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 enough? It, 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 iterate. It, iterate enough. That is just one set of prints from the download. So I've just down, I've just printed it out, stuck them on, stuck them together, and then distressed it all. So now it's cover time. Yay! Okay, so there you go. I've already cut out my covers. So the front cover. You see, what I'm going to do is I'm going to butt that up to there, like that. There's plenty of bleed if you're going to do it the same as we are, but if you want to stick it on the cover, forget that mm -hmm. and just put that on if you want. It's, it's entirely up to you. I'm going to need a cutting mat, Mike, please. A cutting mat. Because if I cut through this, the I'm in big, big, big boy trouble. Yes. There we are. Oh, it looks nice. Look at that. Thank you, Mike. There you go. And I've left the scalpel downstairs. Rubbish. I'm rubbish, aren't I? It's a good job I've got a spare one over here. Has it got a new blade in it? It hasn't got a new new blade in it, but it's I'll a newish have, blade. I shall put a new blade in it now Let then. Move your tea out of the way. Let's see how sharp it is. You could ride bare bottom to London on that. As your mother used to say. Yeah, but you didn't say bottom, did she? No, she and didn't. It, and it wasn't my mother, it was my dad. <laughs> dad was a creative all his life. He'd made all sorts of things. Steam engine, he built real steam engines, he did woodworking, he made carts, he made wooden toys. I've not been looking for that for ages. Oh, it's there. There we go. Okay, so just round the edge, use the book as a guide. Just gently does it. Gently does it. But I mean, if you don't want to do it this way, you can always glue your paper on and then use um, an emery board yep and distress the edges yep there we go which is also another good way of doing it but because the um the journal covers are quite substantial they're two mils thick aren't they yes so they are indeed they just just want to nip that piece off there. I didn't want to cut into the green at the at the uh, the spine. There we go. 
Okay, so come and nail around the outside. So a little, I'm a little bit shy of it there. It's okay, well, like I said, you can always go around with an emery board. Oh yeah, because we've got the adhesive on the emery board won't work. It'll just get all gunged up. So I'm just going to do that because it's brown. Embrace that. <laughs> Embrace the grunge. Embrace, embrace the dinge, as that lovely chap and his wife say on um, Hometown. When they do all old houses up in... Oh, yes. Uh, Where are the yeah. bases? Is it, is it Laurel in Mississippi? Yeah, I think so. And they renovate old houses. I'm just going to put a little bit on the cover just to make it a little bit vintage at the edges. We used to watch... Chip and Joanna Gaines. Fixer upper. Nice but, people, but a husband gets on our nerves. Yeah, Chip already gets on our nerves. And then there was that other couple, uh, the mother and the daughter team. Two chicks and a hammer. Yes, so Good Bones, they're based in Indiana, I think. They are. Fountain Square. Or just off. And then we also watched John from is it the Backstreet Boys. John Knight. John Knight. Mm. He does Farmhouse, Farmhouse Rescue. Houses, that's and that's beautiful, Absolutely I love that. Absolutely fantastic. You out there in the States have got some beautiful houses. Yeah. Why do we have some beautiful houses? The, but the houses John does them are just oh, yeah. stunning. He's got a very good eye. I can't believe they're actually still going, they're actually still touring, aren't they? As well. It's our generation. That, that you, no, it's not our generation, is it? Because we were. No, they are our generation. They are generation. John's the same age as me. What, in his late 30s? <laughs> yeah, right. Very, very late I know, you just, don't, you just don't think about them, them getting older, do you? But yeah, he's, John's the same age as me. And I'm older than Mike. Just by a few years, not yeah. by many. There we go, that's the outer cover. Is it a little bit shy again? It's with trying not to cut into the cover. Um. I know, and also you've got the added pressure of being on video. Well, not so. that, it's just I don't want to see the top of my head because apparently I've got a bald spot. Well, you are thin in a tad, but not a lot. Again, it's just, you know. I've got it stuck on my hands. Can I get it on? <laughs> That's better. <laughs> right. Okay. Mind that scalpel. I've got visions of you sticking yourself in your forearm. I'll need it again in a second. Yeah. There we go. Just move it to one side. Thank okay. you. I can't wait to get these hinges on that I've done. Okay, so that's the outer. That looks good. This is just gives it a little bit of a break. It does. It does. It really, really sets it off. Okay, we'll do the inside back first. As we've said before, look at that, I've even written on it. Inside, inside back, back cover. As I've said before, if you want to wait and you get the month you prefer, whether it's spring, summer, autumn, winter, or the Season. secret garden seasons yet yeah, or the secret garden you can do your cover whatever you want yeah because there, there will be five different ones to choose from so but do not make the mistake of sticking the front and the back together at once because you can't find the edge of the board yes i've done it a couple of times and you're like where's it gone <laughs> yeah one side at a time Sorry about the head. I think you can be figured then. Thank you. Just be careful when you're cutting out of the using knives and stuff. Ask permission from an adult. You're with me. I'm, I've got supervision here. Where I used to work years ago, in, it was in the 80s. Yes, I am that old. <laughs> um, the agency where I worked, People used to throw scalpels in the studio at each other. Very safe. You know, what was before health and safety. Um, quite often got... Mm -hmm. Just do that a little bit more. Sorry. On there we are, go. sorry. If one forgets. One doesn't mean to forget, but one does. Just put plenty on there. So I just love the mm. vintagenessness of it. What I like is the fact that it, it, the covers are quite substantial. Oh, they're, they're well, you can't bend them. No. They are absolutely, and to use a knife on them, as long as you're careful, you're not going to slice into them. With cardboard, you've always got that worry of, oh, 
slip yeah. straight across. Yeah. With this, if you work at the bottom and keep your, your scalpel flat and the blade against the cover, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. Plus, it doesn't matter if you put these on upside down. I don't think. <laughs> I've got. I've used and left those yeah. on. Yeah. But it's the same with anything. You know, you've if you take it slow and steady. Yeah. You should be fine. It's only when you try and rush and do it quick. Yeah. Where you end up slipping and, and causing untold damage to yourself. And other things. Mm. Right, we'll just pick that up. So stuck it down to the craft stuck mat. Stuck it to the craft mat again. But that doesn't matter. It's a very small craft mat. It's hardly a craft mat at all, ladies and gents. Well it's just a near four one. It's my travel one to be honest. Ooh, travel craft mat, can't you? Can Short and nothing I've got. Short and out, as my dad used to say. Apart from common sense. Not you, that's what my dad used to say to me. Okay, so we're nearly there. I mean, if you want to make these to sell, you can do. Can't they, Mike? What? These journals, journals yeah. <laughs> Use the download, knock yourselves out. Absolutely. Just going to just nip into there. Yep, the only thing we ask you not to do is just to resell the digi download. Yeah. Anything you make with it, knock yourself out. Not literally that. No, not, not literally, no. There we go. Just got a little bit there, it's annoying me. There, got it. There we are. And what's good about using the distress tool is the fact that it covers up. It hides a multitude of kids. It does. what I didn't want. There we are. There we are. Marvellous. As Mike says, even if you don't if you don't want to distress, you don't have to. Of course you don't. This is just all personal preference. Right, so that's that. Fun okay. bit now. So shall we have a bit of a tidy up? And yeah. then get rid of all these bits of paper and stuff and then we'll be right back and we're back and we're back okay so that's all done and these are all lovely and dry with a lovely texture on them kind of. so what I'll do to start with I'm going to use glossy accents the older favorite you're doing the front first or the back first? the back first so Can't work the other way. <laughs> Just going to put a little bit of glossy accents on. You don't need a lot, do you? No. And the brass really complements the colour as well. It does look nice, doesn't it? Please with that. I was saying to Mike while you were while you were away uh, that you could actually use glossy accents on these brass hinges as well to give them a real real oh yeah shine. I mean, there's, there's nothing stopping you from from putting a uh, gloss varnish on or even going over the top with um gloss mod podge or something yes yeah or, or any kind of I, I, use, I, use, I use quite a lot of glossy accents when i'm doing the machines because yeah. i like to put the make them really really glossy mm. i mean there's lots of things you could do gloss varnish you could use gloss mod podge you could even use um, clear embossing powder if you so wish. Well, you could, couldn't you? So that's the same, isn't it? Yeah. So it probably is a good idea just to leave them for about a quarter of an hour before flipping over. Yeah. And um, before starting on the other side, just so that they've had time to to grab and set. I think that, that's that's held quite nicely actually with it being on the paper. Yeah. Okay, so I'll just turn that over. We won't move it about a lot. Just make sure you've got it the right way up. Yeah. And then a little bit on these. I like the gloss accents. It, it grabs straight away, doesn't it? It does. Let's have a look. There we go. I just had to check the time. I couldn't remember whether we had lunch or not yet. No, we haven't eaten yet, no. <laughs> You just put the wire in it for me, it's got blocked up again. Yep. Thank you. 
Just have a look at the back to make sure they're lined up. Yeah, they are. These are beautiful. It looks the business, does this, mate? The bees knees. The bees knees, as they say. Business. Business. So, oops, there's quite a bit on that one. You never should rub it with your finger just yeah. to. And then we we'll just do that and then just put it on a bit of paper. Dot and dab. Dot and dab. Okay, sounds like a painter and decorators. <laughs> Dots and dabs. Dots and dabs. There's um, where mum and dad live. There's a a window cleaning company. What's the car? Wet and windy. Oh I don't mind having Mr. Wet at your house, but you don't, Mr. Windy, though, as well, do you? <laughs> okay, so we'll just just finish the front first. So we've got our little bonus label plate. Bonus label plate. Just fit on the spine as well, if you wanted to. Yes, it does. But I think we'll put a little bit of glue on there. around the edge and we'll have this journal belongs to yep right, I'm just realizing now I should not actually have just done what I did which was to actually oops which was to put glue around the outside so what I wanted to do was put it onto the, the mat and then stick it down first stick it down first like that do you want cloth to wipe off the glossy accents. Give it a baby wipe. There we go. There we go. This John belongs to. I just want to hold it up to the camera just so they can see before you do that. Sorry. There you go. There we go. Marvellous. And then just I put glue on the back as well. Tempting fit. <laughs> there we are. I'll we'll just put a bit more glue on there. Just on the on the wood bits. Yeah, on the wood bits. So what you could do if you wanted is <laughs> make sure you've got it the right way up before you stick it down. That's it. I decided not to put the uh, key description on, but. What would be nice if you did the spine, put stick it on the spine, almost like it's a special. <laughs> you could do, you could do. So that's so that's that. So we'll just leave that for a second, and then I've got we've got a spare one there, the property of. Mm. You could put on the inside, but we've also got handmade by. So you could put that on the inside back cover. Or the back cover itself. Down there at the bottom. Yeah. But I think yeah, I like that idea, Mike. I think on the inside. Are you going to just distress the edge as well? Have you already done it? I've already done it. I've already done it. True Blue Peter style. Absolutely. Not that the Americans would understand that. No. Look it up. There we are. <laughs> Blue Peter was at a children's programme. Went from the 1958 and it finished about two years ago, three mm. years ago. And they used to make things. They did. So, that is... I'm really pleased with that. Mm. So that's the covers and the first signature using the Spring Wonders Digi Downloads. Looks arts and craftsy. It does a bit, with the it? the paper, mm. and then you've got the, the nice hinges. You could be forgiven for thinking it was a William Morris style. Oh yeah, fabulous. We were, I will be addressing the spine. We'll come to that in the last video. On another video. On the last one. Okay. So that is our offering for today. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Well, let's just switch back over to the front camera and then we'll say our goodbyes. You should be very proud of that. I am. Super proud. <laughs> Thanks for watching episode one of the Five Weeker. Mm -hmm. We'll be here next week with summer. Summer. Seasons are going by so quickly these days, aren't they? <laughs> so just to remind you, the download is available on Mike's website. I think there's a link below. There is. There'll be a click of a link in the description area below to both the digital download and also to the MDF journal kit itself. Next week, summer. The week after that is autumn, winter, and then there is the secret garden. Fantastic. I can't wait. We're looking forward to... Actually, I'm looking forward to seeing the journal complete, to be honest. So am I. I am so pleased with today. Genuinely, I am very pleased with Good. it. 
and so you should be. So thanks for watching everybody and if you did enjoy the video please remember to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from us for now. Bye for now. We'll see you very soon. Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. Thank you.